What's up, people? Got the Make Sense guy coming back at you now. Well, my boy, Mr. Show You Right. Hey. What's up, man? Uh, today, we're going to be talking about a common issue that a lot of people have with these emission motors. Let me get on in here. See this little sensor right there? This right here. Yeah, a lot of you guys, you, you see me change it out here. About 85,000 miles ago, I changed that out and put a new one in. Since then, I haven't touched it. It's got 85,000 miles on it right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna take it out. We're gonna change it. We're not gonna change it. I'm sorry. We're gonna clean it out. I'm just curious of what what, what 85,000 miles looks like on it. What you doing? I'm gonna get to try to get this plug off. <laughs> this plug can be a pain in the butt. I'm pretty sure it goes down. There we go. Now we get somewhere. So guys, you ain't the only one to have a problem getting a plug off. <laughs> <laughs> they a pain in the ass. Especially when they've been on there for a minute. Now this in here has got roughly 85,000 miles on it. Yep. 85,000 miles on it, and we're gonna changer no, I thought I... we're going the wrong way no come on man see this is why most people they they get all this crap ready before they make the video huh there we go there we go. See how I've done that? Loosen that little, loosen this little nut up here, this little bolt. It's got a little tab that hangs out, it slides over. You just wanna loosen up far enough to pull that over. And from there, I urge you to be careful with this. What you wanna do is you wanna to try to rock it, slide it back all there. So we're gonna try it over. So what I was saying, you wanna rock it back and forth. You don't wanna cock it side to side you want to keep it straight so when I pull this out of here you're going to see just back and forth like you're trying to turn something and just put with your finger just tr a little bit of up pressure every time and we're going to try to ease it out I say that and she don't want to come so all right next case scenario we're gonna try to pry just a little bit. Not enough to break something, cause think, keep in mind here, we're dealing with plastic pieces. Oh, there we go. When you get it loosened up like that, pull it real slowly out. Get that up there. There you go, there's 80,000, 85,000 miles. Here, let me set that down here. Oh shit. I'm getting rid of a lot of the evidence. 85,000 miles. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna do what we did in the previous video. We're gonna come right here to this little spot and we're gonna try to knock out some dust or some chunks. And what you're doing, you just up in there, you can't see it right there, but there's little chunks that's gonna come out that's up in around the sensing bulb. Take a toothbrush to it. <laughs> Little chunks coming out. Little soot boogers. Man. This ain't but 85,000 miles. I need to go ahead and buy another one. <laughs> I was just anticipating just cleaning this one out, make a video, show you guys how to do it. Now I'm thinking. I need to uh, get another one. They ain't been like 30, 35, 40 bucks. So, yeah, I'll get another one when I get back home. Makes sense. What happens uh, while you're cleaning it out? What kind, of, what kind of codes does it throw? Uh, this thing right here can throw all kinds of different codes. It can throw codes that uh, 
basically says your turbo is bad, uh, ter horrible fuel, mi fuel mileage. I mean, a lot of different things. I mean, even in the uh, the Cummins handbook, a lot of texts don't go by it, but it actually says in there if if your code is if, if a code is being thrown to change out your turbo, one of the things you need to do is change it out first. It actually even says that in the Cummins manual before you replace the turbo. But thankfully for a lot of folks out there, I don't fall into the category anymore. But a lot of folks have got a new turbo because of that. So if you got warranty, you might get you another turbo. So if you got warranty, don't change it out. Just take it to the shop. <laughs> Let them do their thing. You might get you a new turbo out of the mix. Still got some chunks coming out. A lot of it's a lot of dirt, a lot of soot boogers. These soot boogers that hurt your miles per gallon. So, I think I, I let me see. It. I think that's about as good as I'm gonna get for the moment. Let's see if I can set that up. Sorry, guys, set that up and give a good clear pick. You see if you can see that sensing bulb in there. So that's what we're trying to achieve. And that's what we're trying to get around to and clean is inside that little sensor bolt inside there. There you go. I can see it good there. This outside part, it's just basically like a, a shield. But that little sensor bulb in there, that's measuring, measuring your your airflow. Uh, I guess your eye mount sensor, uh, mass airflow sensor, basically what it is. Get that to show you right. All right, man, let's go ahead and hook this thing back up. Uh, if you want to get a video or put that on video, the little hole up there, it's a little dirty, so I'm going to knock out some of that dust before I put it back in. Yeah, I'll go again. Anyway, show you right. Hold that for a minute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, hold on. Hold on. See all that dirt around that? Eh, I believe I'm gonna try to hold that for me, bro. I'm gonna see if I can't knock out some of this stuff before I put it back in. Cause I damn sure don't want that shit going into my intake. Now, if you do this, just take your time. That way, you don't push none in. Make sure you can see what you're doing. I should get a rag and wipe it, but I believe that'll work. I believe that will do. All right, what's it? Let's hook it back up. When you put it back on, you want to go straight down in the hole, just like you came out of it. You get to the right here. Now you got that O-ring. So same applies here. Just wiggle push oh there we go see she's in place had to work you gotta work for her sometimes but she's in place put a little pull this little tie back over tighten her back down Plug her in. There we go. Sometimes it's a little hard to get it pulled in. I, I take a tool, put it on the edge of it, and push or pull it in. But she's back in there. She's locked in place. Now if you don't stand back, I fire it up. Make sure, uh, make sure she runs. You ready? I'm gonna make 
That's another one for you for the make sense video. Um, hope that helps you out. My boy, just to show you right. At the end of this video, I'll put a little link, let you go check him out. Make sure to subscribe, support my homeboy here, Mr. Landstar himself, sure. making all the money. <laughs> <laughs> making all the money. As, he, as KB would say, he's making all the monies. Yeah. All the monies.